Hello, this is Alex with Grow How. I'm here at the Tri-City South facility. It's a nursery here. This is actually a, a tree that's owned by the landlord. It's supposed to be maintained by him. He's kind of busy. It's gotten a little bit out of hand and I thought this is a great way to teach you how to do an espalier. Now, if you haven't done an espalier before, if you're not familiar with them, this is an old European way of growing stuff against a wall quite often in a colder climate to uh, facilitate more heat and warmth so the tree can grow. There are other reasons for it, and I'll get to that on another video, but today we're gonna prune this. The first problem we have here is it, it hasn't been taken care of, was not pruned at all this summer, and it's looking kind of gamey. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean this up with you. We've got a lot of growth down here at the bottom. You can see it's not flat growing. We're just going to cut that off. Okay, with all that off the trunk, you can see that we have a dead limb, and there may be some other dead wood in here. Uh, as you go, feel free to take dead wood out. The plant has already decided. It's done with it. You're also going to notice I'm going to take a lot out of this tree. It's more than I should. Um, to make up for that, I'm probably going to have to get the landlord to put in a larger frame, allowing for more growth. With all this growth I'm cutting off, it's too much for the plant to handle in one pruning. But if I'm going to keep it as a spalier, I have to. Uh, if I can get a larger frame for it, then I'll be able to make up for it in the summer and be able to have just a larger espalier. I will never keep this down to size again. Um, and this is something that now is going to have to be done every two weeks through the summer. My next thing is I'm going to look at it. All these tall branches I want either removed or I want them trimmed down to six to eight inches. Uh, probably about six on the lower tier on this, maybe eight on the upper tier. I want to make all the cuts to a bud or a branch so that I'm not just have this raw end that's just going to look ugly and potentially can, uh, introduce infection into the tree. If you look right here, this branch looks like it's sick, it's not fully dead, but I, I see some wood here that's weak, so I'm going to take this all the way off. Right here, right here, all these branches are, are too close. And if I get any fruit or side branches, they're gonna be rubbing, so I need to thin those out. I didn't time this exactly, it's about five minutes. You're gonna to need to do this every two to four weeks, depending on the size of the espalier during the summer. You don't want 
not a lot of new lush growth. And so uh, you're gonna wanna repeat this you know, as frequently as it takes. If you uh, start getting branches too high here, you know, you gotta get out, get it pruned. Don't let it become like this one became. And uh, keep in mind, this only took me five minutes. This is easy to do if you keep on top of it. If you don't keep on top of it, these are impossible to recover. I've tried, I had clients that, that just have asked me to bring them back down. I can't do it. Uh, again, this one will be a bit problematic. We'll talk with the landlord, see if we can get a better uh, a frame for it, a better trellis. 